What's poppin' everybody? Cerebral 4 I've got a TCG match for you guys today with Rails. I know it's been a while. I wonder myself uh, how long I'll be able to keep using a Pokemon like this. Uh, you know, very old from Dragon's Exalted. It's not doing as much damage as it used to. You need a lot of energies to get one hit. Now I got on the really big GX guys now, so... Anyway, still fun. It's still good enough. Uh, one of my, it's my main deck, like Ray Eels, the Ray Boar. Uh, the decks using this Rayquaza X, this specific Rayquaza X. These are my decks, basically, especially for expanded. All right, so we get to play first, and I unfortunately have to open with Lele. Uh, that's never a great thing, but I guess uh, we have supporters in hand, so it's not so bad. And I'm going to use the Ultra Ball here. Discard Lightning Energies. It's great we have the Ultra Ball and the Letter. So we're going to set up our Discard Power with Lightning Energies pretty early and pretty nicely. Getting two energies like that is very good. Uh, get the Rayquaza X. Now, I get Rayquaza X because I want to attach a Fire Energy to it. Attach the uh, uh, Fury Belt as well so that we have a better Cynthia. Uh, shuffle in less cards, draw more cards. That's what you got to do sometimes. So yeah, normally what you want to do is get eels, but hopefully I'm kind of lucky. I see one of the little eels. So let's play down the Shining Rayquaza and Tynamo. And that's it for turn one. It would have been good if I saw like a level ball, a few more, like at least one more Tynamo, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, holding on to the other Rayquaza X because we got to Keep some open spots, space for, you know, more eels, perhaps a Keldeo. Uh, but my opponent is going to play the Skyfield anyway, so I don't have to worry about that yet. I mean, usually decks, now that they run Skyfield, they always make sure to run the pseudo Wooda so they get the extra uh, spots on the bench, but you don't. So that sucks, unfortunately. Uh, I have a lot of mixed feelings with... Skyfield and, you know, cards like Suda would have this day. So much bench manipulation. Uh, perhaps you could say it's too unfair sometimes, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, my opponent in the beginning, I didn't know what he was playing. You know, using Hoopa to grab a lot of OCX and uh, Volcanion EX. But then as soon as he played down the uh, Xerneas, I figured it out. Oh, okay, it's this guy. Haven't seen him in a while as well. The... Fairy Xerneas from, I think it, it should be from Breakpoint, where the more different types of Pokemon you have on your bench with different types, the more damage you do. And it's actually a heavy hitter, especially for a basic Pokemon. You slap a Fairy Energy and a DC, you know, with something like Skyfield down and a bunch of Pokemon. You get one hit knockouts, even on the biggest stage GXs, honestly. So, he's going to make quick work of something like Rayquaza X, even with the Fury Belt. Uh, if we don't hurry. So what I'm going to do, I use Juniper, even discarding the Rayquaza X. I'm going to do my best not to use uh, EX Pokemon because I'm trading, you know, two prizes for one every time he knocks me out. So Shining Rayquaza is going to have to put in some work here. So we get one of the Electrics out, no other Tynamos. I only have one more open spot anyway, so it's going to be really rough. Uh, it's always tough to get rid of a Pokemon like Sudowood on the bench there. It's not really a threat, so when you spend your turn to pull it and, you know, knock it out in the active position with something like Lysander or Guzma, then your opponent's attackers are fine. So most of the time what I do is I just try to suffer through and play the game with only four open spots. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to capitalize on the Shame Mini X that's active there and get our two prizes. At least I get a nice little lead, and Rayquaza X did something if it gets knocked out. Uh, with the Fury Belt on, I, I could have used the Startly Megaphone, but I think I want to get more value. Maybe he plays a bunch more uh, tools. Probably not, but you know it is what it is. I figured you know even with the 10 extra damage, uh, he should be doing enough damage to knock me out, no problem. So. That's the situation. Okay, so he has... His bench is full. Damn. And uh, there goes another uh, Fury Belt there. Okay. And using Max Elixir. 
uh, gets a fairy energy, of course, puts it on the bench, but now he might have to retreat because uh, I don't think he can attack with the active uh, Xerneas there. And he decides to actually uh, pass the turn. So this is pretty big. I'm going to use the Startling Mega for get rid of both of his Pokemon. Now, it's actually kind of interesting what we can do here. I don't have enough resources to perhaps make an attack and KO something. I wish I could. If we had the switch, it would have been possible. If I just had one switch, uh, we could have powered up this Rayquaza AX and did a, do exactly 130 damage to finish this Pokemon off. But I think what I'm going to have to do is use something like Cynthia. Uh, we have... God damn. Uh, fucking noise outside, but uh, we have an important resources. We had important resources in hand. I don't want to discard uh, via Seekers and stuff, Lysander, what have you. And and uh, I w it wasn't going to give me many cards, so Cynthia was the only option. So we're going to use our Mystery Treasure here, just so I can discard another Lightning Energy and add more stuff. We only have this Dragon Bolt Rayquaza. I'm not even going to bench it. It's just that uh, just to use it, use cards, thin the deck, not draw uh, stuff like this. A Pokemon that we don't need, cards that we don't need. Basically, uh, Rayquaza X, Shining Rayquaza, and maybe somebody like uh, Xurgatry. They're going to be the MVPs, honestly. So let's see. Keldeo X going to put you in the active position. I'm not going to be able to perform an attack this turn anyway. So we're just going to promote a decoy like that and make sure my attackers are safe. They have energies on. Uh, every little energy counts in this situation since we don't have more than one electric down. So my opponent has to discard a few things with the Skyfield, and that's good. I get some good value here. He had to discard a lot of Pokemon, even one of his attackers. So he decides to keep the pseudo Wudo, which I wish he didn't, but you know it is what it is. Uh, he keeps the guys that give him two types like the Volcanion and the Ponyard there. Uh, it's probably going to evolve soon. And, you know, I, even with those, I still don't think he probably maybe can't do enough damage to knock me out now. But, you know, with a little choice ban, things are going to get fixed. And actually, even without it, 190 damage. So, yeah, this guy's a really heavy hitting dude. Like, you don't even need to fill out your uh, bench with Skyfield, and this guy can get knockouts on stage 1 GX Pokemon completely easily. Very, very strong, still an expanded. I mean, decks like Zorok GX with the fucking eggs outclass this deck completely, and basically any deck, you know, Ray Eels, any, any of these sort of uh, decks, it's just in a different league. But, you know, if you don't factor that in, uh, this Xerneas deck is pretty strong and expanded. Okay, so gonna use N now to slow down my opponent. We'll get a few cards to work with. Uh, I'll be able to get a knockout on this Xerneas. Uh, not bad, but not great either. Uh, he has the other one ready. And uh, thankfully I will be able to retaliate too, though. Once he knocks out my dude, I have the uh, Tapulele with the Floatstone there. Hopefully he doesn't get rid of it. And then we can instantly power up Shining Rayquaza and then get another KO. So he brings out the... Man, I always forget that guy's name. Uh, I remember the first form, Ponyard. Uh, damn it, yeah, Bisharp. Bisharp, thank God. I'm, I'm such a uh, fucking... Uh, damn, my head. I always forget names now. Anyway, uh, so he has two of those guys that give two types, so he should still be doing a lot of damage. And he makes an actually a really smart play here, targeting down my uh, electric, realizing that I need that uh, to perform any type of attack. He uses a revenge. So th that guy is in the active position now, though, and uh, he won't be doing much. So it really sucks. Uh, but he made a really clever move, realizing that you know he needs a little bit of time to build his offense again uh, to get knockout. So he gets rid of my electric, slowing me down, and that's going to really suck. we got to play another one down now, though. So I get the Tynamo. We're going to bench that down for sure. And i got to wait, unfortunately, to evolve. 
So, what are we going to do? Uh, Tapu Lele has the float stone. Uh, Raikou doesn't have anything, but he could be valuable. I gotta leave a Pokemon active there to basically take take the hit. Uh, whatever I leave is probably gonna get knocked out. So, yeah, it's it's a tough choice, but I think what we're gonna do is leave the Tapu Lele since I have the switch in hand, and maybe he he won't get knocked out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So my opponent uses a VS Seeker. That's not good. So what is he gonna grab? Grabs the Guzma. I guess it makes makes sense to get that I wonder what he's gonna decide to pull this time and he decides to grab the Rayquaza X now actually what he should have done is pick the Tynamo since he went ahead and did that uh, but I guess he decided hey uh, I want to do a lot of damage on Rayquaza it didn't knock it out thanks to the fury build which is great now I'm always in the danger he gets a field blower, then he gets a knockout on my turn, on his turn, what I meant to say, and can still attack. So, it's not great, but I'm glad that I survived. I'll be able to attach a fire energy now, and finish the dude off. And Rayquaza basically did his job. Even if I get knocked out, I knocked out something. We're going to power up our uh, shiny Rayquaza too. It's going to be ready to go. And I'm in a decent position here. I will have the lead once I get the knockout. You know, uh, he can't... He shouldn't be able to get two knockouts uh, unless maybe he sees the field blower and I promote even my big guy, one of my big guys, and he knocks him out. But yeah, I'm going to use a Scholar 2 to get Lysander, prepare for the next turn. And Dragon Burst, we knock out this Xerneas. He doesn't even have uh, any other threats, honestly. It's just the uh, Bishop there. He can use that to knock out Marquaza, but then all I gotta do is use Lysander, pull one of the EXs, and finish him off. So, everything is going okay. I should have this game in the bag. Uh, really back and forth, a uh, high, highly offensive game, but uh, that's how these games are when you have these extreme attackers that do so, such high damage. So, he takes care of Marquaza X with Bishop and did nothing else. I guess he didn't have the resources to do anything else. Uh, you can't really get the Xerneas out and power it up instantly, easily too. So now all I have to do is power up Rayquaza with Electric, use my Lie Center, and finish one of his EXs off. And it's game. So GG. Nice little game. Seems like Ray Illis still has it. Uh, against a deck like this, I'd say. Uh, Xerneas. And it was pretty close, though. My opponent only needed to knock out one more Pokemon, and he was going to win. So, GG. Great game. I'll post maybe a few more games with Ray Ills. I know a few people on my channel really like when I specifically use decks like these with Rayquaza X. But we have to always use new decks and try out standard stuff, too, from new sets. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. Say a bull 24. What's up?